Income tax 2022-2023. Unemployment compensation. Let's do some wealth preservation with some tax preparation. Most of this information comes from the Form 1040 Instructions Tax Year 2022 Instructions for Schedule 1 Additional Income and Adjustments to Income Additional Income section, which you can find at the IRS website, irs.gov, irs.gov. When looking at the income tax formula, we are once again looking at line one, that being income. Remembering that the first half of the income tax formula is in essence an income statement, although a funny one. We've got income up top, the equivalent of deductions down below to get to the bottom line, usually net income, but this time taxable income, our objective being the opposite of a normal income statement, where we're trying to get the taxable income as low as possible. Insulation for low income housing, as opposed to net income, we're typically trying to get as high as possible. So we're focused on the income line. So the question is, is this item we're thinking about, in this case, unemployment compensation, something that needs to be included in income, or is it exempt from income? Now, unemployment compensation in its name says compensation. So you would think by that term, it might be something that would have to be included in income. But you, you also might think that this is kind of a welfare or benefit kind of program. So uh, maybe it would kind of support accounting instruction by clicking the link below, giving you a free month membership to all of the content on our website, broken out by category, further broken out by course. Each course then organized in a logical, reasonable fashion, making it much more easy to find what you need than can be done on a YouTube page. We also include added resources such as Excel practice problems, PDF files, and more like QuickBooks backup files when applicable. So once again, click the link below for a free month membership to our website and all the content on it defeat the purpose to get money from the government, which would then have to be taxed and then you have to pay it back to the government. However, normally unemployment compensation is generally going to be a, a taxable event. Obviously this happens when you're uh, in employment and then you cease employment and then the state uh, in certain circumstances may be able to compensate you for that uh, unemployment compensation. The general idea of that policy being that a sudden loss of employment can be kind of a shock. Employable or very employable. And uh, and you might need some temporary wages in order to find and seek and get uh, employment elsewhere. So it's kind of supposed to help in that kind of transition period. But remember, there's a difference between the federal uh, government and the state government. So usually unemployment compensation isn't something that makes sense from a federal government uh, standpoint because even if they were to apply that on a federal level, how would they possibly do that in a fair way, given the fact that the, the states have different living conditions and so on through, you know, the cost of living itself is, is already a complicating factor that would make that a difficult situation. Usually those types of things happen on a state and local level, which makes a lot more sense to me to do that kind of thing, of course, at a state uh, and local level. So you have a situation where there's an income from the state that of course could be an untaxable kind of event from the federal income tax type of system and that is generally what we have okay so where would it be reported we've got the the uh, line eight other income from schedule one and we've got the schedule one then where we have the unemployment compensation well compensated money up front now the unemployment compensation you're generally going to get a form just like you would for any other kind of potential income from if it was the state that gave you the unemployment and that form might be a 1099 g type of form now in prior years due to the whole covid pandemic type of thing there was this whole weird thing with the unemployment where they tried to basically say that the unemployment or part of the unemployment is not going to be includable in income due to the whole crisis and due to them basically saying the government shutting people down so obviously it's not your fault if the government shut says you cannot work due to social distancing and so on so then they tried to say well we'll try to give a benefit to people by not having the unemployment they receive as a taxable event but they kind of put that in a little bit late so a lot of people still filed with the unemployment in place and then the, the government was trying to fix it but that new law has has 
was not updated. So now we're back to the normal situation where the unemployment is gonna be included. Now also just note that unemployment for the last couple of years has also been an area where fraud has kind of uh, come into play because we have all this people that are, are likely unemployed and, and uh, the fraudsters came in and tried to take advantage to, to try to receive unemployment compensation for those who possibly didn't file for unemployment, but possibly could qualify for the unemployment. So if you do receive like a 1099G, then, uh, then and you didn't get any unemployment, then you're gonna want to, to address that because somebody probably got paid unemployment and basically stole your identity, which means you've got an issue with regards to the state that they stole your identity and possibly if they could steal your identity there, they might be able to, to use your social security number and whatnot to file a fraudulent tax return. So you could take action on that. We saw a lot of like tax news uh, last year that was, that was uh, concerned with this type of thing. So just be aware of that. Okay, line seven unemployment compensation. You should receive a form 1099-G showing in box one, the total unemployment compensation paid to you in 2022. Report this amount on line seven. So usually it's a pretty straightforward type of thing. If you're a tax preparer, usually you, you deal more with the questions than with the, the, the difficulty of doing the data input, the data input usually being fairly straightforward. The questioning being, hey, look, I lost my job. I got unemployment compensation. Why should I have to include that in income? And it's like, well, because it's compensation, you, you have to include it in income generally, and it is what it is usually. And then the other issue, of course, is going to be if they got a significant amount of unemployment compensation, oftentimes they, they didn't withhold on it. So when you're a W-2 employee, you have to fill out that W-4 form. So the employer acts as the tax collector on your behalf, takes your money from you before it even touches your pocket and they give it to the IRS directly. The unemployment isn't required to do the withholding. You can request to do withholdings, but most people don't. So if there's a significant amount of unemployment, then it's possible that that's gonna cause a situation where they, they have underpaid their taxes due to not having any withholdings. However, also just note that if someone got fired in the middle of the year or laid off or whatever you wanna call it, in the middle of the year, then the withholdings that they had for that that part of the year so if they if they had withholdings for like three months of the year and then they got laid off after three months the withholdings for that three months are going to be very high compared to three months of income because because remember we have a progressive tax system so so it's not like they got taxed at 15 percent you know uh, evenly, no matter how much they earned, if they were projected to earn $100,000, but they only worked for three months, then the withholdings that were withheld from them are going to be based on a $100,000 salary, the yearly salary, but they didn't earn a year's worth of salary. Therefore, they're going to have wi over withheld. And then they're going to pick up the unemployment compensation, which they're probably not going to withhold anything on. And so maybe those two things balance each other out, but that's, you know, again, it's a messy situation to try to predict, but those are kind of some things to just keep in mind. So caution. So if the amounts reported in box one of uh, forms uh, 1099G is incorrect, report on line seven, only the actual amount of unemployment compensation paid to you in 2022. So in other words, if you got unemployment 1099G, but you didn't actually get unemployment, that's possible. That's an indication that fraud might have taken place. You would like to, like any incorrect 1099, go back to the issuer of the 1099, correct the problem there if possible, telling them to give a new 1099 to the government, to the IRS, because otherwise the IRS is going to have an unmatching 1099 from their side to your side. What you don't want to do is report an incorrect amount on the return, but if your 1099 doesn't match the tax return, the IRS will almost certainly, you know, question it because they're going to say, hey, I got a 1099 based on this. And you're going to say, yeah, but it was wrong. And then you're going to have to go through that. How do you not go through that? You try to go through the issuer of the 1099, tell them to give the IRS an updated 1099 with the correct information on it. 
So if you made contributions to a government unemployment compensation program or the government paid family leave program and you uh, aren't itemizing deductions, reduce the amount you report on line seven by those contributions. So if you are itemizing deductions, see instructions for form 1099G. If you received an overpayment of unemployment compensation in 2022 and you repaid any of it uh, in 2022, subtract the amount repaid from the total amount you received, enter the result on line seven. Also enter repaid and the amount you repaid on the dotted line next to line seven. So we've seen a similar situation in prior presentations in that if the amount on the, on the report, the 1099 is incorrect, then if you report something less than the amount on the 1099, the IRS will probably have a problem and make a correction for you. If you enter an amount greater than the amount on the 1099, the IRS is probably not going to have a problem with that because now that's going to result in you paying more taxes. If it was legit legitimately amount less than the 1099, then you want to show the math. You want to say, hey, here's the amount from the 1099. Here's me subtracting the amount because I repaid part of it because they overpaid me. And so then the IRS can, can still tie into the amount on the 1099, but see that you then reduced it. And hopefully that'll be enough information to, to not have them you know, trigger a, a recalculation or anything. So if in 2022, you've repaid more than $3,000 of unemployment compensation that you included in gross income in an earlier year, you can see repayments in publication 525 for details on how to report the payments. So now the issue is, well, now I had a repayment of unemployment compensation. If it was in the current year, then I could of course just reduce the repayment in the, in the current year. But if it was applied to a prior year, what do you do? Do you amend the tax return or, or is there some way that you can adjust for it in the current year? If you fall into that situation, again, publication 525, find it on the IRS website, irs.gov, irs.gov tip. If you received unemployment compensation in 2022, your state may issue an electronic form 1099 G instead of being mailed to you. So in other words, if you don't get it in the mail, but you got unemployment compensation, it's, it may be that you just didn't get it because they give it to you in some other format, such as a digital format. So you want to make sure that you're reporting your unemployment uh, income and that you could find the form to help you to do so. Because if you don't report it, you can't just tell the IRS, well, I didn't get the 1099 because the IRS will certainly have gotten the 1099 and that won't that won't fly right they're gonna they're gonna correct your return almost certainly so check your state's unemployment compensation website for more information